What's going on peeps? My name is Simon and you're watching Soundwave TV transforming your video experience. Something I want to talk about today is I am not sad that the Obamas are leaving the White House in January. You know, a lot of people are just like, they're so sad that they're not going to be president first lady anymore. Here's my take on it. The Obamas are not dying. Like there was no cancer notification that I was aware of. You know, uh, President Obama, his term is, will be up. You know, his two terms are done and he's going to return to being a regular citizen. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do as a policy. You know, serve you a little bit of time and then go back to whatever you were doing beforehand. They didn't have intended for people to, unlike in Congress, people just serve forever and ever and ever. And the thing about it is being president is sort of like being genie from a lot. You know, phenomenal cosmic power EDB living space. Even though you have the power to warp reality, sort of like um, the Fairly Odd Parents in a way, in Cosmo and Wanda, there are limitations of what you can do. There are limitations of what you can say. There are limitations even where you can be. And people want him to be more outspoken on police brutality, but it's like you have 20 dozen things on your plate at one time. There's no way you can be everywhere and speak on every issue that comes up. And the Obamas are not even leaving Washington. They're going to be in Washington for about at least another two years. I think the, the younger daughter, Sasha, I believe, still has another year or two left in high school. So they're going to be around. Between the, the correspondence dinner and the inauguration. And I'm sure they're going to be speaking at college graduations of some sort. So they're going to be around. And they had to make so many sacrifices. You know, uh, they can stop looking out for the people and start looking out for their people. I'm sure there's a lot they've had to give up. You know, a lot of moments they've had to miss in their family's lives. You know, they can be full-time parents now for their daughters who are still in their formative years. Both of them are under 20 yeah, both of them are in the 20s, so they're still in their formative years, so now they can be full-time parents for them. Like, when you look at Jesse Jackson, you look at Jimmy Carter, and I, you know, being from Georgia and South Carolina, everything Jesse Jackson and Jimmy Carter has done over the years has been part of the news cycle, and you'll see they'll be able to do more for people after they get out of politics. And it's like watching man of steel and watching batman versus superman i've seen you know when you put people on a pedestal and they've been on such a high pedestal and it's just let them give them a chance to live and be human and just be people for a change and not be like the end all be all of achievement and i think you know end all be all of achievement for, for black people and it's like i think we're afraid that we're not going to see another black person win president or even vice president for a long time and I think we'll get somebody else it might be a couple of years but it'll happen at some point like don't be sad that they're leaving be happy about the time that we had with them and you know I'm glad that they're going to get a chance to rest you know I people say that the president had do you believe that a presidency ages you I don't necessarily think it's a presidency to age you. I just think it's just a middle-aged man who got eight years older. You know, they can spend the rest of their lives, you know, Barack and Michelle can spend the rest of their lives serving the public, or they can fade away into obscurity. That is their choice. It's just all the bull crap, just all the things that are asked of you just as president and first lady, and then you add the fact that they're the first black president, and the first black first black president and first black first lady on top of that you know the eyes of the world are upon them like all the time and again i'm not gonna miss the obamas because i know that they're not going anywhere and i think there's a bright next chapter for them what do you think the obamas will do after their time in the white house is up do you think michelle obama will run for president have her own term and sometime in the future leave in the comments down below 
Check out my other videos and subscribe to this channel if you're so inclined. Until next time, this is Soundwave signing off. Peace.